I wanted to improve my CV2 skills, so I made a Google Dinosaur Bot. I first started with a video processing class, which just takes in a video of the game and then does all the processing and also adds some additional debug information to it so that I can see what more easily debug what my program is actually doing. Uh, next, I imported a window, window capture thing that uses some Windows DLLs to have faster capture. I can link a tutorial for that in the description. And then I used PyAuto and UI to actually make it use the keyboard to play the game. <laughs> so uh, just to quickly go through everything I did. First, I take and pre-process the frame. I uh, have it first make a mask out of well, it just makes a mask out of the dark and light parts, and then I convert the image to be pure white and pure black based on that. And using those, I can literally just use a for loop to find the first white pixel, which would then be on some cactus. It'll just find the first point, and then it'll find the last point on the cactus, and then I know I need to jump before that and land after that. In the main script, I have some other code that just <laughs> checks how far away I am based on, and also checks the speed. So it takes how far the first part of the cactus has moved and then uses that to determine the speed at the current frame. And then it does some math I kind of winged the math for it, but and then tuned it to work. Uh, but essentially, it'll just jump not too soon, not too fast, and then it'll just go forever. For some reason, the Google Dinosaur doesn't have any birds for me, and it doesn't actually get faster at some point. So I end up just getting 100,000 points, and then I didn't feel like running it anymore. Uh, but it was a fun it was a fun project. I also added some code to make it uh, uh, make sure that it actually holds the button in long enough or sometimes it didn't do that uh, and also to make sure that it didn't try to like spam it or uh, to, uh, or to make sure that if I landed, if I tried to jump before hitting the floor, it would just jump when it hit the floor instead. And yeah, that's basically how it is. That's basically how it works. And uh, I end up getting over 100,000 points with that. So it was a fun project. I would recommend it if you want to try learning how to use CV2. And that's basically everything. Bye-bye.